Hello everyone, I'm coming to you outside for once. Um, today was probably 45 degrees or so um, in the sun here, the sun's still out, it's around, I don't know, 6 o'clock or so p.m. And I uh, wanted to give you guys an overview of the chicken coop and uh, kind of my plans of what it's going to be uh, turned into um, hopefully by the end of April depending on how the weather goes, if things keep thawing out like they have been, I might be able to get in here and drill some holes or what have you and get this structure set up. So anyway, let me show you what I got now and then I'll uh, talk about what my plans are afterwards. So the girls are outside this evening. I had them out a few hours earlier. I don't really like them to be outside, just free range running like this because we have a parking lot in the business and we do have cats and we do have dogs around here and we do have a lot of traffic um, coming in and out of here and the last thing I want is for one of them to get hit. Um, but anyway, this is the uh, the coop right there and then the pen and then the, the extension pen on the other side. <clears throat> this isn't any different than what it looked like last year. I made a chicken video. I'll try to put it in the, in the, uh, the description below. But basically where it says chicken coop, it's about three foot by four foot um, you know, between 12 and 15 square foot. They're a little bit bigger than those dimensions, but that's the rough dimensions. And uh, the basic pen size is 12 foot this way by 8 foot that way. And then the extension is 12 foot by 8 foot again, but that's only about 4 foot high. Um, you can't access that, that as a like a person can't access it. There's no um, there's no way to get in there except crawling through the little hole where the chicken chickens go through. But anyway, <clears throat> so that's basically what it looks like now. For this past winter, what I did is, is I, uh, as I boarded up everything, like on the outside walls, and actually these walls here were boarded up to protect them from the wind oh, and the snow. Um, still some snow got in there, you can see the ice or whatever. Um, but I took off the front panels here because we're kind of out of the out of the danger zone of, of getting you know frigid temperatures and frigid winds. And at the end of the day, if I need to put one piece or two pieces back up, I have them in my shop. I can just screw them up you know, the day before, no big deal. Um, so anyway, the plan for this year, <coughs> I guess I should touch on one more thing. Um, the whole structure here, as well as the small pole on the other side, it's all fenced in with chicken wire on the top, on the sides, you know, and then it's dug down about six or so inches in the ground, uh, which worked out really well last year. We had no issues with any type of animal or, you know, rodent or what have you. All the chickens survived the winter. They survived their molting process and uh, they're, they're doing good. And they're starting to lay eggs again. But anyway, plans for this year. <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> actually quite soon again as I mentioned hoping um, basically what's gonna be what's gonna happen is this whole entire thing this side and the other side is gonna come down and I'm gonna put up a chicken shed um, it's gonna be 8 foot by 12 foot lengthwise have a sloped roof pitching down to the right here and um, basically it's gonna have a floor in it have a ceiling walls it's gonna have a, a, an actual door uh, you know, like your standard 30 inch, you know, out, out exterior door and probably at least one or two um, sets of or one, or one or two windows, double hung windows that can open up and have a screen in them. And basically that whole thing, the 8, eight by 12, 96 square feet, that whole thing is going to be enclosed all year round. That way I really help, it really helps prevent issues in the wintertime. And it even gives them a place in the summertime when it's really, really hot, they can go in and be in the shade. And as long as there's a couple windows in there, it'll provide some vent ventilation. Um, if need be, I could put a vent with a vent fan in it, but I don't really think I'll need it because it backs onto the building here. And as you see, it's about six o'clock right now. And you can see the whole entire thing is in the shade because it's behind the behind my shop here. And uh, <clears throat> even in, you know, once June and July hit when the sun's directly overhead, then the whole thing will be in, in sun pretty much the, the better part of the day. But now it's not. And, and besides the point, what I'm getting at is mainly for the winter. So it's only going to come out about eight feet, which will be this post here is nine feet. So going about a foot from that is where the actual structure will will stop. It'll be raised off the ground, probably six or so inches, um, just because that's just the way I'm I'm building it. Um, so it's basically like a deck with, well, it's like a little house, like a little shed. I don't know how else, how else to describe. You, you basically get what I'm getting at here. It's going to be all enclosed, and you know it's going to be it's going to be sealed up so no animals can get in it in the whole deal. So anyway, you may ask, well, where are the chickens going to go during the day? to be outside well from the eight foot mark which is roughly where my hand is or you can call it this post here out probably out into around here which will be maybe it'll, i'll probably either do eight or ten feet probably more likely to be eight feet right around where my hand is 
and then that's going to go the length of it all the way back to the 12 foot mark so basically they're going to be getting more outdoor space than they had last year and they're going to have more indoor space when you're going from what 15 square feet to around well eight eight times 12 is 96 96 square feet so you know you're you're you're, you're multiple times the space inside which will give them better more space to be because right now inside the coop they're quite cramped at night um sometimes two of them sleep in one nesting box i want to put more nesting boxes in there maybe even just build them maybe have have six or seven nesting boxes that way they all can be in there at the same time and they don't have to to fight each other and and have maybe multiple waters or i might get more chickens that that's, that's kind of up in the air but still this chicken shed thing is, is still is still going to happen uh, one way or the one way or the other whether i get more or not so anyway <clears throat> not that i get off topic here but so basically from this section this post say out to about eight foot and then it'll be eight foot high roughly eight foot high because the bro the roof coming down is going to be pitched it's going to start at eight foot and it's going to end up around seven foot and then by the time you extend it with two by fours it'll probably end up being around six foot out here which is still plenty high enough because i'll be able to reuse the door that i i built here to here to have it to have a man door so you can actually access the pen part to get in there to clean it or to put bread in there or you know whatever and then you know depending on that's going to so that's going to be what the main plan is <clears throat> depending on how that goes i may extend it around the back because if you remember this is the secondary section that secondary section is now going to be cut in half because it'll this is eight foot and this is eight foot so you add four foot to that it gives you your 12 feet so you so i still have all this extra space it's just weeds there's nothing here nothing grows here just like i said just weeds and grass and basically there's, there's the space is wasted but you know once you start getting too big then you have issues with snow loads the following year um especially like here you can see the snow it doesn't melt very fast because again it's six o'clock which is in the evening but you know say three o'clock the sun's up here but this whole area is still shaded which is why i want to make the pen area out here to at least get a little bit of sun you can see how the sun's sticking out here eventually that'll come around the back or around the back here when you know during the day more um, so in any case it's going to work out good i think the chickens are already out here they like being out here you know pecking around and and you know pecking in the green the green grass that's showing actually this green grass from from last year that's been you know covered over with stuff you see that one down there scratching and picking and that's what they do they like being outside rather than being inside so anyway <laughs> that's the overview i know you it's, try, it's hard to kind of picture it in your in your mind but basically it's eight by twelve oriented lengthwise with a sloped roof this is just going to have like a i don't know over the eight foot is going to slope a foot so that's an eight one pitch or whatever you want to call it not very much it doesn't need to be very much all, all i want to have is some kind of pitch so that so that the rain beads off of it i'm not sure i might even put shingles on it we'll see depending on how expensive they are if not i'll just caulk all the joints and won't have a problem with it but anyway that's the overview here feel free to leave uh comments or suggestions or you know maybe tips if you built a chicken coop in the past if not stay tuned and once this snow which is melting by the way uh these piles used to be 12 feet high now they're around maybe seven feet and the driveway is clear it's very muddy but the the, the snow is melting and it being you know the first of april tomorrow i'm hoping we have another nice day and hopefully by the end of april this will be up i will bring you guys back here when i start assembling the new chicken coop the new chicken pen because i'm going to be doing it you know one day after the next after the next and i'm hoping to have the whole thing completed at least the interior section that'll be done first within within two days so it's ambitious but we'll see once i get the wood here i'll be building everything in pieces all all four walls will be built um you know on the ground and then they'll just be stood up they won't be built in place it's too much of a too hard to do that especially when things are eight foot high and they're over your head so anyway, stay tuned for more. And the girls here love being outside. They'll be going back inside shortly when the sun goes down for nighttime, and then they'll be back out here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.